Yeah! Everybody, we're here uh, for another crazy Monday. I have the b one broken chair in the room. That's great, Josh. Put your hands together for Josh Martin, everybody. The man responsible for everything that you see here. And uh, I get the wobbly chair. Fuck yeah. And, and better yet, he goes all the way to the back to get another chair. Meanwhile, little does that amazing producer that sets up everything and we give so much responsibility to know that there's a fucking chair right here. Josh, too late, buddy. And now he's getting a chair for an invisible for, audience for anybody, member. For anybody who wants to sit between two live cameras that you can't touch at all, uh, there's seats right there that we don't want you to sit at whatsoever. Uh, welcome, everybody. Happy Monday to you. It's obviously a live show. Anything can happen. I'm sitting in one spot now. I'm still. I'm comfortable. Put your hands together for Pat Reagan, who just played his heart and soul out for you while you were being seated. The great Pat Reagan. Pat is going to be our uh, co-host tonight. Yeah. He's just going to be hanging. He's got his guitar. Want to say hi, Pat? Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> You're really concerned that that mic's not going to work, huh? Me. It's a tricky one, huh? You don't believe in the mic. No, no, it's good. It's just a different <laughs> style of mic. This is sort of a mic that you'd put like on a drum or something. No, actually, that is a musician's uh, vocal singing mic. You should right. be. Uh... Well, you know, <laughs> Brian. Sometimes they have a pop screen in front of me. You hear that I, pop? I get it. They don't have Radio Shack. Those at Radio Shack. I get it. Uh, so welcome, Pat. It's fun Thank to have you, you here, um, and we're very excited about tonight's show. Catch you up with our lives in the past week. I did the. Uh, I wrote for the roast of Justin Bieber. Everybody, yeah. the biggest roast of all time. I've been writing on roast for a few years, and it was an absolute blast. Got to meet Justin. I invited him to this week's episode of Kill Tony, <laughs> um, and as you could tell, he had other things going on. Uh, but uh, it's been an amazing week, and I'm very excited about Kill Tony 100, guys. It's happening in the main room, yeah. April 13th, I do believe. Uh, that's going to be insane. Episode 100 of the show that you're at right now is in the main room. Tickets are going fast. So for those of you watching, and hello to the people watching via Ustream right now, the Comedy Store's only streaming show, you're at it right now, everybody. A building that was built in 1932 has live streaming capability now so that's some interesting shit the internet might uh well no it's not going to be affected whatsoever by what happens here tonight uh and we're also doing vancouver guys yeah 420 vancouver uh tickets are going on sale this week hopefully uh it's gonna be a lot of, i think we're, we're, we were it's, there last it, year it sold out last year when we yeah. did a 420 show same place same theater and yeah. uh, we're gonna sell it out again so get tickets for that immediately because that's how we roll yeah and it falls on a monday we should probably try to figure out how, a way to do a baby kill tony there maybe yeah, before we'll the show figure or something. out something so there won't be a show here on 420 yeah uh anyway you guys won't remember that anyways let's get this puppy started you guys ready to meet tonight's guests? Oh, I yeah, am. you are. I always have two of my funniest friends come on to talk comedy with a bunch of comedians, and anything can happen. This week, two of my favorites. They've both been on the show before. Two of my favorite comedians who I work with all the time. Two of my favorites to watch. Two of every comedian's favorites to watch. Put your hands together for them. It's Steve Simone and Rick Ingram, everybody. <laughs> it's going to be a good one tonight. I know when I book this thing perfectly, that's what it's come to, is now I'm like a fucking chemist, and I know that if I get the right two people up here together, this is what we would call good cop and bad cop, I do believe. Uh, Steve, notoriously one of the nicest, uh, most smiley, happy family figures, and Rick is... Hold on, that's not my reputation. The dark <laughs> lord of uh, everything evil, so it's going to be fun watching you Feels two good. bump elbows tonight. Welcome back, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks Which, what did you think of uh, Pat Reagan's performance earlier? I loved it. How about you, Rick? I don't think guitars and comedy should go together. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, and that is something a lot of people uh, think. Uh, a lot of people believe that. I uh, mean, I, if we got them, like, maybe it was you a talk guitar to me. comedy duo. You could talk directly to me, Rick, if you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we, we were actually talking about you, not to you. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record. I have a reputation to uphold, sir. Yes. <laughs> right out of the gate with that. Yeah. Pat, how you doing? Are you falling asleep on that mic? What's going no, on I'm over good. there? I'm good. I'm good. I woke up at 4 p.m. today. Uh, I had some cupcakes. Yes. And I'm oh, good. Oh, this motherfucker. Right. You don't... Cupcakes. You, uh, you want to tell the crowd? 
I have type one diabetes, motherfucker. <laughs> so you, so the, your you don't look talk like it. The yourself. only the only thing he hates more than comedians with guitars is comedians with guitars with cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, sounds like the worst. That'd be a spinoff of Seinfeld show ever. The best podcast of all time. <laughs> comedians, comedians with guitars. With guitars and cupcakes. everybody in Silver Lake would watch that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm so excited about tonight's show. Over 30 comedians signed up for the chance to do one minute uh, in front of us. Pat, nice. do you have any questions for our guests? Is there anything that uh, you've always wondered about these two, by the way? Normally, the co-host uh, always sure, asks I've one question. question right yeah, bat for Rick. Uh huh. Uh, Rick, how does having a negative attitude affect <laughs> your day-to-day -day life? <laughs> well, um, probably in the best way. I mean, I wake up every day knowing that other people are shit, and... Uh, <laughs> You know, from there, it's pretty much spend all day going, nailed it again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly as expected. So, about, yeah, it's a good thing. How about for Steve? you have a question for Steve? Yeah, I got a question. Hey, Steve, if you uh, could have any other first name, what would it be? Larry. Wow. I so love that name. You do. You had yeah, that right so away. ready. <laughs> yeah, Larry. Is that the Three's Company reference? Like yeah, a creepy I, Larry? Dude, there's never been a Larry that wasn't up for laughs. Wow. That was so quick. What about Larry from U2? I don't even know there was a Larry. Maybe. I think there's a Larry. <laughs> it's Bono, uh, Edge, Larry. Larry. <laughs> La Larry's one of those names. It, it seems like no matter what you do, you don't have your shit together. If your right. name's Larry, like you're always Larry. Late. I'm sorry. Larry lost his keys again. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Larry! What a <laughs> That's idiot. a great name. Well, let's jump into it. Like I said, over 30 comedians signed up for the chance to do one minute of uninterrupted stage time, Sucks. and then we talk to them afterwards. Comedians, you know your minutes up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Ah, <coughs> that's adorable. That means wrap it up then, or else you're gonna bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Yeah, we still do that. Uh, so don't run your time. There you go. There's a little something for you podcast listeners with headphones on that complain every fucking week. <laughs> every week. Fuck you. They tag me in your complaints. You don't need to tag me in those. That's directly Red Band. He's the only one with his hands on the board when that happens. So leave at Tony Hinchcliffe out. Go straight at Red Band for you complainy bitches. There you go. There you go. Because it's a podcast. Plays great in the room. It's Plays great for working out and <laughs> just like falling off the treadmill. There's people in the office that complain. Like, <laughs> I, I, every day people are tweeting their complaints about you and that fucking soundboard. But we love you guys. Thanks for listening. And here we go. Over 30 comedians signed up. And your first comedian doing a minute tonight oh, goes man. by the name of Rob Hansen. Yes. Rob Hansen getting up very slowly, whispering something into his friend's ear from up in the lover. balcony. This is his very exciting. Ear. Taking his time. I love it. Got nothing but swagger. Here he is. Rob Hansen, everybody. Yeah. Hey, what up? I'm Rob motherfucking Hansen. How we doing? <laughs> it's not a name. It's a fucking attitude. <laughs> uh, I'm new to L.A., uh, I'm 27, I'm going to CSUN, going to Cal State North Ridge, and I've never felt older in my life because I live at school, covered by 19-year-olds. The <laughs> place is sponsored by yoga pants. I mean, if you thought about going to college, go to college. Your dick will thank you. It will write you a letter in the mail. <laughs> Say, just keep going, buddy. Just keep going. You're doing so good. Let's just stretch that four years into five, okay? <laughs> Uh, all my friends were telling me that uh, it's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel living in school. <laughs> but it's not true. I underestimated the power of a beard. It's like the fucking trash compactor on the Death Star. The fucking walls are coming in and all of them bitches getting smashed. <laughs> uh, there's there you go. Straight to the bear on that one at a minute and four seconds. Uh, Rob. Fuck yeah. So are you saying that you are getting pussy or you're not getting pussy? I don't Very even understand confusing. what you're saying. <laughs> Very confusing. You can still fuck the smash pussy. It's okay. It's okay. No. no. Still don't know. Yeah, no. I mean... It, Bad joke. Um, I, I have a girlfriend. There, you just got bonus points on that. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. I've never, that's never happened on the show, that sound. So, I mean, you did something special. I don't know what... 
he offered but, to buy me a drink earlier, so uh, yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. that's why. Was okay. this your? Uh, how, how long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, like six months or so. I've wow. done like two open mics. Get right first into time that on microphone. Stage. That's number one. Because right. I had to, I had turned you up uh, to eleven. Yeah, he's up. He's up to eleven right Damn, now. Damn. Hey, thank you. Thank see, you. See um, how much. Oh, you have a better. soft voice, huh? So scared. I'm so scared right now. Man, you're not no. that funny. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Wait, what was it's that? Right, Steve, right. you're gonna make it's that right. noise. You're gonna make that noise <laughs> sitting next right. to me. He was Sorry. asking you me better. Earlier. We're just getting warmed up, Steve. <laughs> Come on. He sees the effort. The effort. No. The effort's there. I, I love your style, Rob. My favorite part of that entire thing is when you said, "Hey, if any of you are thinking about going to college, you should go." You realize that most of the people that you'll always be performing in front of at a stand-up comedy club either have gone to college or at least have already committed to their decision of not going to college. <laughs> yeah. Are you planning on doing a lot of high schools or something like where, <laughs> where a joke where, you know, that uh, would... motivational speaking for sure. That sounds good. Uh huh. Go to college for the pussy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, but I have a girlfriend. Uh, she uh, goes to UCSB, and. Um, how, what does she think about you comparing your beer to a trash compactor on uh, the Death Star? What by she by the way, Death Star references in general, such a good way to get pussy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Just really let the girl know you have no idea what you're doing with right. the vagina. <laughs> Almost automatic. Specific Star Wars scene. <laughs> Well, that one keeps going on. It's like uh, I talk about C-3PO ain't going to save you. And, uh, and even the... Uh, Drier pussies by the second. <laughs> do you do any comparison to that like one pit with all the tentacles that comes, comes out at all? Uh, I do the comparison with the, the snake thing with the little eyeball that pops up. Yes, it's like yes. even he's getting pussy. Right. Yeah. All right. I can feel the people turning off their iPods right now. Um, <laughs> Rob, uh, where are you from? Uh, from the Central Coast, from San Luis Obispo. Oh, I've been there before. Yeah. yeah. How do you like? How long have you lived in LA? Uh, like eight, uh, six months, something like that. And I've been going to CSUN since August, so I can't do math. Uh, seven months, uh -huh. something like that. What do you want to graduate with? What do you want to do? Uh, doing television, trying to do TV producing. Perfect. Uh, yeah. This town is in need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about that. Oh, okay. yeah. Get in television right at this point. You know, this is a good time to get into TV. Also, by the way. Yeah. yeah the that goal, was sarcasm. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, uh, yeah. the goal is to do business, to try to be, make my money on the golf course. That's that's the goal. Oh. Yeah. Well, you might get a chance to do that since you're probably going to be riding a lawnmower for the rest <laughs> of your right. life. <laughs> you're definitely going to be making money on a golf course. I don't know if that's the way that you think be of. the most successful Northridge graduate of all time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, thank you so much. I'm thank sure, you. it's going to be one fancy golf course, man. Oh yeah. Uh, Pat, any thoughts about Rob over there? What are you I thinking about? Question. Yeah. Did you say your dick will thank you at one uh, point? Oh, uh, well, that too. But, uh, your dick will thank you. It'll uh, like write you a handwritten letter in the mail. You had a couple of interesting, like, it seemed like you're, like, doing these, like, Pauly Shore kind of phrases, but they're your own and they don't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, it is nice. You know, like, you said co this, this school is covered by girls. <laughs> <laughs> your dick will thank you. <laughs> I, li I like it almost seemed at a couple of points like he had a pre-planned this is where the laughter is going to be right <laughs> and then you know afterwards it's like we'll edit it in later I yeah think, <laughs> i think you did a really good job i'm the paul abdul person of the, this panel no I, you're not but, but, with yeah. steve simone <laughs> sitting on no, fucking no, no, nothing no, but, but compliments well, over here i, I mean you've only been waiting doing, for it you've only been doing comedy six months you really have to find your voice you need to listen to yourself do comedy if you don't do it already because it 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 would be interesting for you to like sit there and go, huh, that's funny. If you really do that, then you just quit comedy right there. But uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve, I, say what Brian just <laughs> said in a better way. No, I, I agree with Brian. I mean, six months in, uh, you were personal. You talked about your life. You had a Star Wars reference and a dick joke all in a minute. That's a pretty good start. Uh, my only advice, <laughs> right? Dick joke, personal, Star Wars in under a minute. Um, and I think right now, like, your focus is just learning on how to get laughs. But I would recommend just being more you. Like if you're doing a whole joke about banging college chicks and then the first thing you tell us is that you have a girlfriend, <laughs> talk about your girlfriend and what she thinks of you in college surrounded by those girls or what you really think. Just get more honest, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. she'd appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. 
Yeah, well, it, it gets to a point when you, you you do like a fake story where it's almost uncomfortable to do as a comic, and when you hit that point, you'll you'll get you understand it more. But I used to do the same thing, like like oh yeah, I came home, this guy was on my porch, and I made made up this whole thing, and it's like lying almost, yeah. and you can kind of tell when you, you're a liar. So it's even harder. <laughs> it's harder. No, no, it's harder. Like anyone, if yeah. somebody's lying to you, it's it's a little bit harder to tell, but. Like this audience could easily pick up if it's not true or not. Right. You know, compared to if it's if you're telling a real story and you're excited about it, you can find a way to put tags in it. Then they're going to believe you more and be on board more instead of like ah, this didn't happen. So what he's saying is, don't tell stories about getting pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell that the would truth. Be Talk about That'd the dick shit. <laughs> Fuck Top yeah. Gun, Iceman, huh? Uh, Rob, uh, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Uh, three years, actually. Do you long have any time. material about her? Um. Not really, actually. Like, um, it's hard to think of funny about your relationship when you want to respect it. But um, yeah. that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe when you're lying to yourself, I guess. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Well, how's that going? Do you guys live together? Oh, it's going well. Uh, we lived together for like a year and a half, and she goes to UCSB now, and I go to UCSB to CSUN. And uh, so where's that at? How far um, is that? Middle of the valley. Like, uh, it's like a maybe an hour and a half. How often do you guys get to see each other? Like every two weeks, something like that. Like so pretty hot. often. So it's still pretty often for being that far apart. All right, well, great. Uh, well, Rob, <laughs> I guess that's it, huh? Hey, well, uh, thank you very much. Thank Six you very much. Six months, huh? Where do you perform at? Uh, open mics at the school, and um, that's about it so far. Wait, so you're at the college telling people they should go to college? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, best of luck, buddy. Yeah. Awesome, gonna... man. Thank you, guys. Thank Rob you. Rob Hansen. He's on Twitter at Rob M F N Hansen. He really is committed to that Rob motherfucking Hansen thing, and that is not good. Uh, but it goes perfectly with your trucker hat and half beard, so that's exactly <laughs> what we would expect from you, Rob. He's a soft-spoken guy for being sort of lumberjacky, you know? Yeah. I liked him in all the not liking kind of ways. Yeah. Do you guys remember anything that you did when you first started out stand-up comedy-wise that you can't believe that you did, like, or said, or anything like that? Like, or, I, yeah. were you just always amazing, Rick? Yeah, I, I was just <laughs> killer from day one. Uh, when I started, I did impressions, which is just as embarrassing as humanly possible. Right. So, uh, what I was your main ones? Just pretty much anything that Will Ferrell was doing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of ran with that. And just, you know, was crushing the Kansas City comedy scene, which it's, it's like L.A., New York, Kansas City. Those are, the, yeah. those are the big three. So I moved out here after doing comedy for like a year and a half, and pretty much everyone at the comedy store was like, you got to stop doing that shit. Um, it's fucking terrible. And uh, so, yeah, I, I stopped doing it. And my career has been... Awful ever since. <laughs> Steve, how about you? Uh, this the most embarrassing one I can think yeah. of was uh, when I was a kid. I remember watching a Howie Mandel special. I thought it was hilarious, <laughs> and he told this joke about smearing a candy bar in his hand, and then going to a bathroom stall and putting his hand and going, well, "I'm out of toilet paper over here." <laughs> yeah. So I saw that when I was like 11 or 12. So I did it to a, uh, a teacher at a middle school dance, like I, Mrs. Chandler. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I came out of the bathroom. I was like, "Mrs. Chandler, we're out of toilet paper," and then I licked my hand, and she was like, "Jesus!" <laughs> right? Because I, I was like a chubby fat kid yeah. that just wanted attention. So then, <laughs> so then before I got to the comedy store, I probably was on stage 20 times, and. Four or five out of the 20, my big closer was telling that story, but I would smear the candy bar on my hand. No. It was so bad. I'd be like, oh, shit, I got to go buy a candy bar. <laughs> and then go out on stage. Did you ever forget a candy terrible. bar and use something else? Like, no. <laughs> no, it was terrible. All right, let's go back to the bucket. Now we know more about, uh, about our panel. <laughs> Whoa, we know this guy. This is a guy from Mississippi. He's from the South. How he sounds and acts, it's really him. Put your hands together for him. It's Eric Carter. Oh yeah. We've seen we've seen him grow over the yeah. past year. This guy's a he's a free bird. Michael P. S. Mondays. Ooh. But being a southern man that knows how to live off the land, I get a laugh when I'm in these coffee shops out here and I hear these hipsters talk about I'm going camping. I'm going camping. We're going out in the canyons. Bull fucking shit, you ain't fooling me. The the closest these little pecker heads came to camping was overdosing at Coachella.
But also, but being a Southern man living in L.A., there ain't no better place for me to live than a gay community. That is the truth. They're clean. They got nice shops. They're all rich. I mean, like, they ain't going to want to mug me. They don't want to steal a flannel shirt. It's a gay community, not a lesbian one. But, you know, there's pros and cons. Some of the cons is there's certain things I can't say in a southern accent out here. Like, I can't refer to non-white males as boys. I can't compliment a girl's mouth or her smell. <laughs> wow, Eric Carter Good with job, the crush. Buddy. Look at him, the look oh on his God. face. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Somebody's been practicing that minute in the mirror. Jesus. Holy shit. God, your heart is a rock, too. What the? <laughs> I'm just ready. <laughs> you got him to look. That's a fabulous free bird right there. You really got him to look like he, like oh, he thought his look, dick could have been hard. My dick's working again. <laughs> Bam. Eric, that was, that was awesome. You did, that was your Thank best you. set you've ever done on Kill. Thank you. That's amazing. Can you talk? Uh, yes. Mic? Yeah, I can talk in the microphone. Hell yeah! It just has been a minute since I've been on here. Will you, and, oh, will and you the, please talk for the rest of this uh, in that voice you were doing earlier. Which one? The uh, the guys in the hill voice. Oh, the hipsters. Yeah, do, the rest of them. No, don't talk. No, I voice. can't do just, that. You're, you're the fucking. only person on this entire show with a funny voice, and of course Brian tells you to sound like everybody else. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. No, stick with that white trash billy goat fucking thing you got going on, <laughs> please, because it's gold for podcasting. Rick, what do you think about this specimen? Uh, well, I, I know the gentleman, so yeah. um, you know that makes me enjoy it a little bit more. But uh, I, as dumb as he sounds, one of the smarter people you'll meet. Like he's the only guy from Mississippi who can read, as far as I can yeah. tell. He knows history. It's it's always crazy. But uh, what I, I do like, you have pro wrestler attitude when yeah. you're telling comedy. Yeah. yeah. Like you were literally picking out what dude in the audience you were going to kick the fuck out of. <laughs> yeah, with it was like jokes. a promo. It was a promo. Yeah. yeah. Very intense. I enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. That I don't like. I don't remember why I haven't watched wrestling. One of my earlier memories. <laughs> wrestling. It's so good. I was about four years Holy old. I remember shit. my brothers and my cousins watching wrestling. I just remember the warrior shaking the ropes. Sure. And that's one of my first memories. And then from there on, you know, <laughs> we got SummerSlam on VHS. and a God, that's beautiful. He means right now. my favorite memories. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling memories. Now, now, when you say memories and wrestling... <laughs> You got to know you're doing that, right? Like doing what? I mean, you're overdoing <laughs> what it. What are you right? saying that I'm doing? <laughs> Listen, look at you. You're I ain't overdoing it. shit. This is how I talk. So you go on a date. Wait, wait, wait. Turn it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> we all just saw you turn it up ten percent. No, I'm cotton mouth what right now. What are you talking about? Right? No, I, I'm cotton mouth, and it's <laughs> you, affecting my so, voice. So you go on a date. You don't turn it down a little. You just go full on. Like, hey, welcome here. We're going to go to the Applebee's. Like. <laughs> Yeah, because going on a date is like performing in front of people. You know, that's exactly. No, what I mean, I do. but like, do you when you're so when you're with a girl like on a date? Do you how do you talk? Well, just, what would like pretend like, like you're on a date? Right? No, like, I'm not going to pretend like I'm on a Pre date. Pretend, you're a man. Pretend like, come on, you can pretend. It's okay. We're performing right now, Eric. All right. Say that me and you were out at a dinner date. Like, how would okay. you talk to me? I'll I'm, play I'm a along. beautiful girl. I'm a beautiful girl. Talk and to me. His hands underneath your name. Oh, uh, stroking oh, thank you so much. Oh. Uh, my well, name's your name? Tanya, <laughs> and I'm so glad that you brought me to Applebee's. It's so good. So, what do you do for work? What's your life like? Well, thank you for asking, Tanya. I'm a successful comic. Um, I've been featured. <laughs> Well played. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I mean, that at perfect. that point, he's getting perfect. a blow job at Applebee's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just save for 20 <laughs> and an appetizer. Yeah. I hope you, you don't mean, mind if I suck deal. your dick for the rest of this night. <laughs> Thank you for asking. That's the least you can do. <laughs> the, the ladies never ask those questions. So, I mean, you found a good girl with Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she cares about you. That's exciting. It's not just what you do. Where would you take Tanya after the, uh, how would you, in where would you invite me afterwards? Let's say, we're so, uh, boy, that sure was a delicious meal. Thanks for paying for half. Um, uh, so, what do you want to do after this? We're going to go to El Segundo. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, guess, I guess you could play that song after anything, and it's funny. Uh, We're going to go to El Segundo, <laughs> straight into Jamboree. <laughs> El Segundo. Yeah. What, oh, what are we going to do in El Segundo? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Please answer my question. You're making oh, me nervous. Oh, that's when the fireworks are going to go off. You know, that's where we're going to make some babies. Damn. Okay. Well, I guess Here they get tired. That's the cue. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's when the going gets good. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, that's what you, you'd really say that to a girl? Go make some babies in El Segundo? Is that what Absolutely. It works every time. How often does that work? About uh, 11 out of 10. <laughs> Damn. All right. Mississippi Mathematics. It's on, it's on fire <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't even know what the, I feel like. I could ask you anything, and it's going to kill right now. You're well, just, ask away. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask, see what I've said. I didn't even ask a question. So good. You want to go to Ace Hardware or something? We're going to go to Lowe's? I mean, <laughs> he's got the kind of pride that makes you think the South won the Civil War. <laughs> which, is, which is really exciting. We learned a different version in my school. <laughs> now, you're from real. I mean, it's very clear you're a real Mississippi, you know, guy. Yeah, born uh, and raised. Like, were you, were, like, raised on a, in a, a farm? Like, is that... Uh, were you well, born in a barn? No. <laughs> No, I was right. It was like a bunch of old family land, like between all of us, about 500 acres. So we just uh, raised out there in a small did you town. Have animals? Yeah. Like what? Dogs, chickens, goats, horses. Which one did you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Which one didn't you fuck? <laughs> oh, good I'm question. gonna guess the horse. You know what happens reason. in Mississippi stays in Mississippi. You know, <laughs> That's right. can't. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, did you ever? Uh, did you ever think, or do you think you had any relatives that hooked up with an animal ever? Maybe. Other than their sister. I think it's important to remember that in Mississippi, they probably aren't fucking animals because they're not related to the animals. <laughs> well, the good thing about Mississippi in this show is that I can say anything that I want about Mississippi because they have no idea what a podcast is. <laughs> and they have not gotten the internet yet. Well, uh, once so. they find out their own son is out there killing it, <laughs> this is going to probably be the first podcast they get. Mm -hmm. Successful Maybe. comedian. Maybe that can happen. Maybe there's like some kind of a uh, comedy show on CMT that you can get into. Maybe you could do some kind of like a uh, you know blue collar comedy thing. I don't give never a shit. Just before. bring it. What? I said I'll do it. I don't care. CMT. I bet you will. How do you make money now? Uh, I work at a Mexican restaurant at a City Walk. Camachos. Get the fuck out of here! Wow. What are you doing at this Mexican restaurant? I'm a because food runner. I saw Bob, I ran nachos to Bobby Lee one night, and he was like, he said the same thing. He's like, "You fucking work here?" I said, like, "Yeah." He was with some broad with big tits. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> stick with my questions. Uh, uh, don't th <laughs> don't throw don't throw Bobby under the bus. I ain't uh, throwing. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it was Bobby's girlfriend. Let's move on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sure Bobby just wants people to know that he eats at the Camachos <laughs> at City Walk. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine, though, just someone walks out with that accent? Hey, here's your nachos. <laughs> no, it's uh -huh, great. Uh -huh. You want extra cheese? The Latinos love me. Is they really do, because there's two gringos that work up there, me and this guy from Utah. Because you're That's under sure. them in, like, the whole hierarchy of the food yeah, pyramid. They're, <laughs> laughing at, they're laughing at you like you're, like, the reverse Barack Obama of busboys. <laughs> like, they're like, we can't believe. Well, they don't have that accent. Um... But, yeah, you are, like, white as fuck. So you're a busboy. No, I ain't a busboy. Just run fucking food. That's it? That's you, it. You're a food runner. That's it. So you're the guy that's responsible for carrying food to a table. After the chef makes it in yep. a sterile environment, they put it in your hands. <laughs> hey, which one of you motherfuckers got <laughs> <the> cake toes? <laughs> oh, shit. How long you been working there? Uh, since beginning of February. What's anything crazy happened there? No, well, they've been teaching me Spanish, like, and they came up with some Spanish names for me. Like what? They called me, like, El Gringo Loco or El Diablo Blanco. <laughs> Anything else for Eric Carter, guys? Anything you want to say that, to this guy? I mean, that's the greatest luchador name I've ever heard. 
Yeah. El Diablo Blanco. <laughs> say, 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 senor. Hey, Eric, do you want to do uh, the Death Squad show Friday at the Ice House? Hell yeah! There you wow, go. Wow, look All at right. that. One of the lucky ones. He actually got a gig out of this. You yeah. killed it, dude. Great job. Eric Carter, Thank everybody. Yeah. 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 Hell He's yeah. on Twitter at Call Me EC. Holy shit. You killed it. Other comedians, please hold all fist bumps and handshakes until forever. Uh, there you go. Pat, what do you think about Eric Carter? I mean, he is a real something else. Huh? I was looking at his pants and his shoes, and it looked like he woke up like at the crack of dawn and farmed <laughs> and then came here. That was yeah. my observation. Yeah, it does seem that way. He's a real... Uh, was a real work and real deal. Yeah. That's interesting. But that's machos. <laughs> Camachos. On the, on, the, on the pants and shoes. You know, it makes me really want to go there just to see them. You know I what know. I mean? Like, get stoned one afternoon and just sit there and <laughs> yeah. be like, look at this. You know, I remember fun. seeing uh, a, a comic. Uh, people probably don't know who he is anymore, but I went to a Chipotle one time and Skeezy was fucking chopping steak. Get the fuck steak out of here. In oh, the my back. God. And it was just like eight Mexican dudes and Skeezy. And you could tell they were definitely. Explain to who Skeezy is. Skeezy uh, is a white dude from East St. Louis who, you know, He's as black as someone can be personality-wise, and he raps like Bone Thugs in Harmony, but he is white as fuck. Yeah. It's and very uncomfortable. A funny thing about him is, like, he's extremely uh, either, he, he, you know, I feel like all comedians are bipolar to a certain, yeah. like, control, semi-controlled way. Uh, but Skeezy is hilarious to everybody that knows him because he's a guy that will literally go from, we going to do this, man. We're going to fucking make it. We're going to be on everything until, you know, forever. We're going to be huge stars. And then 10 seconds later, like, he'll go to the restroom and come back, and he'll just be, man, I'm telling you, like, I can't believe it. Like, it's really hilarious. He'll just be, he, you see the toughest, toughest fucking rapper, thug friend. Yeah. Just crying more than anybody else back and forth did he punch you one time yeah he punched me in the face really Steve, are you yeah cry? only time i was punched in the face here what uh, like did it hurt no 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 Steve. but he did get me with a uh with an interesting like upper head butt it, oh, but it, it didn't it didn't hurt here he got me right under the chin but when my teeth clanked oh, i had a fuck. i had a, a dental implant at the time like <laughs> I, had a, I had chipped my tooth on a scooter when i was a kid and the next day, that fell out, well, which is a real kid? problem. <laughs> yeah, I, well, when I was a little kid one time, this is how white trash I was. I, I, well, I could have turned out like Eric Carter, fun fact. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I could have. Funny. Had my thing. mom given the fuck up, I totally could have uh -huh. been Eric Carter. Did you just make that noise I'm again, sorry. Steve? Let them make it. I can't have you I'm making sorry. it right next to me. Steve. Just, oh, that Before we right. started, he was like, so what's the deal? They do comedy, and then we just give them advice? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we Steve, do. Steve, are you ticklish? No. <laughs> Get out of here. He's laughing. Not no. happening. Get out of here. Guys, uh, one more time for Eric Carter, everybody. Let's move along to our next person. This is so fun. All right. Put your hands together for Rodney Peterson. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, hey, yes. I didn't really expect you to get called up, but cool. Um, uh, microphone is how I... <laughs> okay, hi. Uh, I didn't really expect you to get called up here, but cool. Um, I don't know how funny I'll be. I'm probably not going to be funny at all, but I'll just uh, relate to you some information of sorts. Uh, if you've seen the commercials on s sports and so on, you know, the uh, cartoons where they're taking on toenail fungus and it looks like they're really taking it to town. It's called Jubilee, that medication. Well, this is Jubilee. And this is $479. What? $479. This will last you one month for one toe, and you need to use it for 48 weeks. So basically, it's like six grand a toe times the number of toes, and as an added bonus, you have a 22% chance it'll actually work. <laughs> so. He's killing himself. <laughs> He's like, am I killing? <laughs> it, it, it will work somewhat half the time, according to their own research, so. <laughs> it's just. Uh, wow. wow. 
Randy it. Peterson, everybody. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> This guy's a, first of all, probably the best prop comic I've ever yeah. seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll also tell you, by far, out of all the mad scientists I've yeah. ever seen do comedy, <laughs> he's number one. Out of, sure. out of everyone who ever played a Nazi in an Indiana Jones yeah. movie, this guy. <laughs> yeah. well, well, you're some out of, <laughs> definitely, though, out of... Your face melted when they opened that thing, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> you got him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, yeah, I'm, I've um, always had uh, difficulty with talking to people, personal and um, How long have you been groups. on stand-up? I haven't done stand-up at all, really. This is mean, your first, your first long, time? Long, long time ago I used to do His it. His first time? Wait, what? Long, long time ago I used to do it. But How it long ago? Oh, God, the 80s, the wow. 90s. How long did you do it for? Not very long. How wasn't long? It wasn't successful. I couldn't talk to people. How long? How many times do you think? Mm, a dozen. Wow. So, so this, this is, is the your, first pretty much time your first since time. the 80s. Basically, it's the first time I've been on a microphone since I've been on the radio, yeah. Wow. Wow. So, Wait, you're on the radio? Yeah, I've been uh, top 40 in several markets. All right, do, uh, what do you, do you, are you on the mic? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you bring up a song? Give can us a bumper. Can... Uh, play about, a song, sure. How about we, uh, how about we play the song, uh, what we were just playing, Elvis Costello, Radio, Radio. So why don't we do that? You want to give us okay. a little intro and uh, we'll roll into it? How do you want to do this? What's your DJ name? Uh, DJ I Rodney Peterson? You know, or whatever, yeah. I mean, it depends on the station. depends on the format. If it's top 40 or... Can you say, you know, we're live from Kill Tony, Bobbity Ba? Sure. All right, but how about this? We're going back from a commercial. I can't be beat! All right. All right. <laughs> live from the Comedy Store on the Sunset Strip, it's the Kill Tony Show. And we'll kick things off with uh, Elvis Costello and Radio Radio. And we'll have a bunch of comics for you and all kinds of cool shit and... Hang around, because it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, is this CB way, radio? Really good. Are we talking about CB radio? Yeah, you, 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 just, you just lost out on the job to Eric Carter. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I can do things more like, um, it's WLS 79 Degrees in Chicago, and one tin soldier from Coven coming your way. Rodney, like you are such an interesting guy. <laughs> what do you do for fun? What's your story? He, can, he looks like the bitter beer commercial guy. Yeah. Actually, actually, I work in music, <laughs> I, and that's why I say that, um, is your name... Pat, you're really good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to have your music on our site. We have like a yeah, all 5, you have to do, all you have to do is get tracks. a top 40 hit, Pat, and uh, <laughs> they'll totally play it. Actually, I work in music licensing and music publishing, and I work with some really talented people. Like who? And also comics. Uh, Drop some names. They're mostly people you haven't heard of, or the people you have heard of. But <laughs> well, all right, right. Yeah. Let's talk about this foot fungus thing because not only did you freak me the fuck out <laughs> with this. Yeah, is this real numbers one? Like, yeah. I mean, there has to be an alternative to this. And two, how bad is your fungus, and can uh, t can we see it? And Rick, oh. no, Jesus, <laughs> Brian, come on, <laughs> Brian. You he's, know. he's rocking what appear to be dress socks and Tevas. Whoa, because you got to air a lot out more the boys. It's a lot more comfortable that way, and it's really not that bad. I right. mean, you know, the, wor the worst thing that happens is they take toenails off, but they're going to do that anyway. Oh, that is fucking toenails. disgusting. I do not want to talk about this. <laughs> the like, first, I, I, what I like yeah. is the first 15 to 20 seconds while he was up there, he just kept taking things out of his pockets. Right. <laughs> I, it was like very uncomfortable. <laughs> I was like, what, what the fuck else does he got in there? And out of everything that he was taking out, I can't believe that the prop was really yeah. the actual fucking medicine. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people I, brag about like having things worth money, but to yeah. pull out yeah. a, the toenail yeah. fungus. Yeah. That's like an iPhone in your hand right now. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's the same. No, no. I mean, that's the same price as an iPhone, that little piece of medicine that you yeah. have right there. Yeah. That, now, have you tried just, I mean... To to add to that joke, <laughs> to add to that joke, you could pretty much almost say like, "Hey, this medicine costs so much money." Blah 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 blah. I'd rather just chop off my feet or something like that. <laughs> there you go. You, you know, could do the old like chop sure. off my feet. Miss I mean, uh, oh. you're, you're talking about thousands of dollars. <laughs> his yeah, smile dollars is amazing. Toes, yeah, or, it's a very you know, genuine smile. It almost screams, "I molest child molesters." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you what the deal is. Um, He's a child molester, molester. <laughs> He no, fights, no, I, he I fights just, for justice yeah, amongst every. He's the superhero yeah. of child molesters. No, he I'm just trying to be molester. more social. My, my job is um, totally on the internet, so I work with a lot of really talented people, but it's never in person, unfortunately. Um, but um, wait, 
w- let's stick with this molester molester thing for a little bit longer. I don't know where you're taking us, but like, do you have like a big truck that has like a ramp to where you get the whole molester van and you have it drive up and your truck it into and it the just back. closes? Yeah. And you walk in the back and you say, That, that sounds pretty old school from the sound of it. I don't, right. You know, I. For someone that ta- uh, works in the radio, I've never seen somebody talking to the side of a microphone like that before. <laughs> it's been a long time. You're like, I might make it sound like I'm on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the back room. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's one of those right. things where it's like very important. Radio 101, you know. Uh, All right. Well, Rodney, what else? What are your goals? What do you hope to do? Uh, is this like? Did you just try this? Why? What made you? Sign I'm really up more tonight? interested in behind the scenes. I don't think I'm funny. What, what I think I have terrible social issues. I wanted to get a chance to hopefully meet more people and talk to people, hand out business cards, things of that nature. So well, politics. You, you got to do the first part, right? Uh, and I think we should really tell the internet if you guys know anything about this medicine that he's using. Like, l- if you have a healthy al- alternative that would be better, you can't. You can't spend your money on that shit, man. Like seriously, like, have you tried gasoline? Have you tried everything <laughs> possible? Rodney, Rodney, don't take this the wrong Just way. Just dip them in bleach. Cheese grater, <laughs> Rodney. Rodney, have you tried maybe taking some of the moisture from your lips <laughs> and putting them on your toenails? It's a really good idea. Opposite effect. <laughs> There's almost an abundance of it's, lip moisture. Seriously, Vagisil probably would work also. <laughs> probably would. Better than this stuff, I imagine. He's, he's the only guy I know whose chin reaches the same <laughs> level as the nose in terms of <laughs> extension from face. Well, Rodney, hope. you're the nicest guy at the comedy store. You're nicer than Steve. Yeah. W- you guys want to have a nice off? Can you oh. guys have a nice battle? <laughs> <He wins. laughs> Let's do this. Come on, oh. Steve. Say something nice to him. And then you say something nice back until one of you <laughs> oh, until one no. of you runs out. Come on, say he something wins. nice. Right. I, I thought you did great and you accomplished your goals. <laughs> you did. It was a win. Hey, uh, hey, you look great, uh, considering the turtleneck and everything. Damn. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, you did oh, it. No. But he's he not, was, wearing, he's a not even wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> you didn't, you I was trying to cover it up for him. I was trying to lean in. Maybe they'll think I have a turtleneck. Just lean down. The poor guy doesn't know the difference between a v-neck and a turtle. Just let him get the win. We don't know what kind of turtles he's seen. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he had a stock turtleneck joke that he wanted to do so bad that he did it on somebody that didn't have a turtleneck. That was amazing, Rodney. Sell your oh, stock thanks. on that one, guys. Hey, man. Uh, you know, I think it's super cool that you have social anxiety or whatever and that you signed up for the show. And it was a ballsy move. And I'll tell you this, whether it was on accident or on purpose, you did a hell of a job up here tonight. And I think yeah, everybody you did really amazing. Thank you. Yep. Rodney Peterson, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Get yeah. his business card, fellas. There you go. Straight back to obscurity uh, for yeah. Rodney Peterson, everyone. <laughs> It just proves that no matter what, a leather jacket always looks cool. <laughs> yeah. Always. He doesn't have a Twitter, but you can follow him on Instagram at Rock and Roll Rodney. Yeah. yeah. Follow him on Instagram. And if you're a 12 year old girl, he's probably already following you. So. <laughs> <laughs> or boy. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I don't. Don't, I don't want to leave the boys out. Some people. I'm sure he spreads the love. Oh God, this is fun. You guys having fun tonight? Crazy Monday. A lot of talent out there. Pulled Pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like somebody I haven't seen before. Michael Grepp, everybody. Yeah. Here we go. Michael Grepp. How you guys doing? So for me, I feel like I need to put myself in a position of power to really uh, connect with women, and, and I would take advantage of it. So if I was a college professor, what I would do is you know, I'd, I'd you know, hit on one of my students, but you don't want the really smart ones. You don't want the really stupid ones. You want one that's kind of like middle ground, like she's, she's borderline. She's almost failing. And you know, I'd, I'd pull her aside and say, you know, I looked at you in this class. You know, Kathy, your, your grades are just, you know, you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're almost going to fail in this class. And I want to give you something. I want you to. I want you to get something in this class, and it looks like you're, you're going to get a D. But the thing is, Kathy, you're, you're going to like this D. This is, this is going to be the best D you're ever going to get in college. You know, start to unbutton my pants and like, what, what do you think about that D? You know, 
how do you think? And that's what I would do. It's why well, I'm not a college professor. So <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, I I just want to start by saying the comedy scene at CSUN is obviously. <laughs> I, mean, no, I, I was worried about doing that because I'm like, we can't have multiple college bits, you know, tonight. It's just, I figured but, you guys were on tour together or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're, we're we're going to tour elementary schools. Yeah. We're going to be like, listen, guys, this is Smart. what you have to look forward to. You're the reason I'm not gay. I, he's got the look, he's got the haircut of like a great looking guy in like 1997. That would... That what felt very uncomfortable. We all knew where the joke was. When you did do the joke and you continued to do the joke, it was just uncomfortable like we were being slowly we, raped. We know that, Brian. Everybody, everybody <laughs> that's, saw that's that. That's the point. I mean, it's, but, it's about molesting. Yeah, yeah. You know, is that, was that your goal? I mean, what, in what, to, to molest someone? Or let's go back, let's go back, let's, let's, let's go back to your hair. Let's go back to your hair for a second. All right, all right. Do you still listen to Soundgarden? I never, no, I never, I never listened you to never this. You never did. This is just not getting a haircut. It's not, it's not a haircut. It's just not having one. That's, that's what. You didn't get a haircut. That's just, I haven't, you know. When's the last time you got a haircut? Like six months ago. Once wow. I got fired from my, my regular job. What was that job? I did a finance international trade consulting, so. You did what? I did, I did consulting in kind of like international domestic trade. I mean. I, Why are you going to college? I, I, He's no, not. you're not. If oh, I were to be a college right. professor. I would molest my students by talking to them about grades in the context of my penis. I don't know. I don't. Uh, Tony, am I? Oh my God, that did not just happen. Yeah. Am I out of what, line? What did I? What did I? Where did I fail to communicate that? I guess it was what I'm trying you to understand. Didn't. I mean, uh, your, your your mission at a comedy club is to make people laugh and be happy, not yeah. for people like Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but what but you know what, maybe, but maybe you could be that guy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, have you seen this guy that's terrible? That's so terrible. It's great. And, I and people be like, oh, yeah, I think I heard of him. One thing I like is uh, his hand gestures right. are like someone who's never acted before. I'm into and financial being told, like, trade you consulting. Need to. Uh, there was a very honest moment that got a laugh. <laughs> like time, time back to what the first guy, I was trying to tell the first guy, there was a point we all knew you knew it wasn't going well. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that to be a dick, but the, you, like, no, did no, no, your no. bit, and then you were like, oh, you had, like, an oh shit look on your face. <laughs> and, er, like, because you thought, and then I everybody just... started to laugh, yeah. and then when you were like, that's all I got, and boom, it blew, because everybody knew the the honesty. Yeah. And I wasn't I just... expected to be called up, so I was so, hold, I was just hold, uh, so out of it. Why do people sign up <laughs> <laughs> and then go, I, I had no idea. Right. Like, yeah. we didn't write your name down, right? You wrote it down. It's, it's not like, the same. This is to not go up tonight? Perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the anxiety of the process of thinking that, well, you know, that there's the opportunity. There's a right. chance, you know, like, I, I... What are you doing with that hand? Would you always do that? Just, uh, just, where are you it, from? From Ohio, man. Oh. Well, that's, what where, part? that's where we're Cleveland, from. Cleveland. I'm from Youngstown, and I've never seen anybody do that before. I'm from 40 minutes away from you, and I've never seen anybody that just basically conducts an orchestra with each <laughs> word that they're doing. Like, what, did you just watch Whiplash and got inspired? What's happening here? No, no, no. It's not quite I've, the I've note. It, it always re it just it. reminds me of kids who don't know what to do with their arms in acting classes. Yeah. And, like, they're trying to be normal, and they're like, I think I swing my arms. And it's like, you're not walking right now. You're just standing there. <laughs> Uh, what, since you got fired from your job, how did yeah, that happen, yeah. by the way? What'd you do? I just, I, I, I was sick of it, man. I mean, I mean, this is where I've been wanting to be for a while, but I kind of just was smoothing all around and waiting, waiting for... You just played the invisible piano. <laughs> no, this was, no, this was, this was me as like, it's like a fish swimming through a dangerously terrible river. Oh, wow, I like yeah, that one, yeah. too. The old yeah. wiggle around the place. Yeah, exactly. the old, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the, you know, on ecstasy in the early 2000s <laughs> dance moves. <laughs> Ball of energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm into this guy. Yeah, me too. I, I now I've noticed that each time we talk about it, he tries to do something else with it. So yeah. like, it I, was I, no, it is. It's, I can't. Oh, I, the old the old elevator lift. Uh, I see what's going on now. I want him. I want him to be the sign language comedian. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> now, now I'm afraid to, to like to, to don't be afraid. Just let it, it happen. Just this. focus on the questions. Don't think about your hand whatsoever. Just let it do the killing for you. Um, <laughs> I guess I have a future as a deaf as a deaf uh, comic, you know. So. so, how did you get fired from your job? I just didn't want to be there. I allowed. Did I mean, you it was, quit? I or? wish I could say it was something exciting. because so I wanted to get the unemployment. So that that was really the. Uh -huh. They wanted me to quit. They tried to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My, my manager was Japanese, daughter? so he was kind of trying to shame me into leaving, you know, by by just by ignoring me and pretending like I wasn't around. But I thought it was hilarious. So eventually, it was just you know. Wait, did you say he was Japanese? He was. He Maybe was. Well, he still is Japanese. It's not. He's not. He's. It didn't. It didn't change. I think racism should be your angle. <laughs> right. <laughs> And no, it's it's a Japanese management technique. Right? By the way, when you say Japanese, maybe some karate <laughs> chops or something. Yeah, maybe that's why maybe that's why he was uh, upset with you is because you insulted his could be, kung could fu be. culture. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. Man, that is so. Does your whole family talk like that? Is it like at they Thanksgiving? Don't. Are you guys just no. knocking everything off the table? Just hey, where you been? It's good to see you again. Uh, no, it's just, just it's everything. Just, it's just me. I'm 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 the. The, the, yeah. What's your What are your favorite things to do? What else are you into? I'm into music, music and comedy. That's pretty much what it. What kind of music? Um, jazz, progressive rock. I mean, it's just all over. <laughs> the Killers. Fuck that. Come on. Man. He looks like he'd be good at frisbee golf. No, never played. You never played? Never. And you never listened to Soundgarden. No, I went to Miami, Ohio. So I mean, they had great frisbee golf courses there, but I never. Right. I, never, I was Did you see the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> yeah. on that one, everybody. They have great golf courses. <laughs> That's what we call that one. The There's old also well, no, a trick like off the, the elephant. <laughs> right. No, that was that was that was the Ohio. That was you know the, the Ohio connection. I guess. Please ever. stop dragging Ohio into your weird <laughs> no. hand motions. We are very. You proud. know how people from Ohio. Are. <laughs> We're very proud of the fact that we communicate with our words and not with our well. right hand. <laughs> uh, how, did you did you say how long you've been doing comedy? Um, a little less than a year. Actually. All right, let me ask you something. Sure. Have Go. you considered putting a puppet on that fucking thing <laughs> and no, just going all the way with it? A Tourette's puppet. <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> like you're saying one thing and the puppet's just no. Doing that, that could. Uh, to, like, he's a dancing sensation. The puppet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, you could be like. It could be know. a raver. The puppet could have little glow yeah. sticks. It could just be kind of just just doing its own thing. I guess yeah. while well, I. Or we could like uh, like do that CGI where we put like uh, uh, lightsabers on, so you could just be like, <laughs> walk, like we could watch a set and then out of nowhere. That it's would like, be amazing. Oh, that's great! Look at you! Wow, that was that was, that was a produced that one. one, huh? Look at Red Band sneaking in a little something he thought of. Look at what you get when you do that. How about that? I think, I think he was just waiting for Look some of the that. aggressive hand motions, yeah. and that was that was his moment. <laughs> of course. So. Patty, what do you got for this guy? Anything? Well, do, okay, this is honest. Honest question. Go for it. Do you remember the first thing you said right out of the gate was something about having power over women? Yeah, that was, yeah, I don't How know why I said that. How did you want yourself to come across? I don't know why I said that. Well, cause, I said, I no, that was that. First of all, no, one that, of the greatest that was, comedians ever is Bill Cosby. And that's true. I just, I think maybe you're going down the right path is what I'm saying. Steve, what do you got for this guy? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, you love that hand. I know that. Yeah, the hand was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just, I don't know. I mean, if that's, if you, you don't really know, are uh, that creepy, <laughs> go with it. But I thought it would, you had a nice moment at the end where it was honest. And one of the greatest things about comedy is that you, you let the audience feel what you're thinking. And you had that moment at the end, and then when you said, I, I got nothing else, <laughs> everybody laughed because ever you, you, you gave you didn't so tell like the audience for it was two plus monster. two. Yeah, yeah it was very it was very human, it was very real, and Thank audiences you. know when you're being honest. And Thank you know, you. I did maybe I'm wrong. Did you guys did were you doing the hand thing when you were doing your stand up? I don't remember. I don't probably I, I mean no, I'm an animated person. I mean I can't Well naturally you are, but that's that's exactly what I'm trying to get to is like if that's how you respond to every single question and how you really talk when you're talking to us, then get your hand in the game when you're doing your stand-up thing. Because if that's a part of you, and I was ki obviously, you know, I'm not saying throw a puppet on it, no, even no, I, because I, I already said that, and I really believe you should do that. <laughs> but I'm also saying that, you know, be yourself and let it rip and, you know, take chances. In the few seconds that you had left to really not do much, you know, yeah, you got the you ended the tension and got a laugh with right. Bobby Ba, but
but always do your time and always take chances instead of just doing the one thing that you had prepared. You know what I mean? Because that's where you're going to learn how to roll with shit. If you want to get rid true. of the hand, just tie a belt to it. You'll get you know, like, that's a great way to. <laughs> oh, but like two really, belts, I have like yeah. a second belt, I guess, or uh, you can just do it with the one. But just the one. All right. Um, uh, and don't you don't need to draw it out so much if you're going to keep up with the joke. It should just be, I unzipped my pants and said, you're going to get a D in this class. Right. Instead of like, yeah, you'll probably get a bad grade, which would be a D. Yeah. And uh, then I'm going to slowly take yes. my pants off. Right. And and then here's a D. I don't know if you know what I mean yet when I say <laughs> yeah. that there's a D coming for you. Uh, but you're going to get a D, and that D is is this uh, this penis. <laughs> Because that's how yeah. it was. No, no, no. You, that, 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 you, makes, that makes a lot of sense. You literally beat around the bush on yeah. your <laughs> d dick joke. Yeah. I don't know. That's hopefully, a break. Hopefully, you know, you could write in a period joke, like third period, fourth <laughs> period or something. Yep. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's going to save it all the way. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be a seven-minute bit after you throw that period thing in there. Yeah. Um, Michael, how long have you yeah. been on stand-up? Six months, would you say? A little, a little, um, little under here, probably like, like maybe around like eight months. Where are you performing at? Flappers is where uh, I. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brian's. Yeah. In... You got, you got to get out of that, get out of the safe zone, man. You got to lose your, you know, got to lose your safety wire. No, I've done, go... I've done the, I've done the potluck here, and I've. And by the way, go listen to Soundgarden and play frisbee golf one day, because just once. I think it'll change your life. Uh, Check out the other clubs, man. Play Ice House. Try to you know try to get like the improv. You yeah. know, I get mean, it, try to go get everywhere. To the real no, go to go to shitty open mics that you have yeah. to wait a while for. No, I, I hit up I hit up the improv in here every Monday and Tuesday as much Sweet. as I can. So try the Ice House. It's one of the best clubs in the world. It's the, one of the oldest clubs in the world, and they have uh, open mics weekly. Like tons of them. Ari, who works here, runs the uh, not Ari Shakir, but the other Ari, uh, actually nice. runs the open mics there. So okay, talk to him. Cool. Eat a dick. <laughs> I think you mean E to D. <laughs> Michael, I had dick. fun with you, and you. Uh, I hope Thank you, you come back again soon. For sure, for sure. There you go. Michael Gurup, everybody. He's on Twitter, My Longest Hot Dog. He's that guy, My Longest Hot Dog. What is it? My Longest Hot Dog on Twitter. Very clever. What does that mean, Michael? You want to yell it to us? Is that your old nickname or something? What about the D giver? <laughs> so think about it for the future. I'm oh, talking yeah. about dick, D, uh, like right. it's, like <laughs> it's a four paragraph <laughs> handle. <laughs> One thousand characters. I don't think. Uh, I hope this next comedian, whoever it may be, is prepared to go up tonight. I bet they won't be. I bet they're going to be shocked. Oh, this looks like another new name. I'm excited about this. Put your hands together for Raphael Lechuga. Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes, Raphael Lechuga. So, uh, last October I started my first year at UCLA. Thank you. And the demographic really scared me because it's mostly white and Asian and, you know, I'm Latino. And there's very few Latinos and blacks there. But I just want to say, as long as you believe in yourself and skip the application process, you'll get right in. I'm not, I'm not applying to USC this fall. Uh, I tried cocaine recently. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to do it again because I want to do it again. And... <laughs> And the depression after that, the come down, was something new to me. I wasn't ready for it. And I reached a new low. Thank you. You want to finish it? Go ahead. Uh, in the depression, I texted my mom. And uh, she left my dad when I was only five years old. And I realized that was a bad decision she made in her 20s. Who am I to judge? And now... <laughs> Jesus, let him finish. Let him finish. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, that was, are, are we, are we, it's a good ending. Are we it's a good two ending. minutes? That's are we even close minutes. to the end it's, of this? Yeah, it's, it's a good ending. I'll just say, and now, and now we text every day. Cocaine has ruined my life. Uh, that's 
I mean, <laughs> <laughs> for those podcast listeners, unfortunately, that was not the sound of Raphael killing himself. Uh, that was just. I'm a, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. No, I love this. Which, By the way, I thought only Jeopardy had a college edition. I did not realize Kill Tony was going to yeah. have one tonight. Was that? It's was, been everybody here has gone to college, and Ro- and then there's also Rodney Peterson, who's not allowed within 500 feet of one. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love the theme tonight. I love your look, Raphael. You're Latino. Yeah, but, but you look I'm like the least, young, I'm the you, least Latino let me person talk ever. You idiot! I'm, I'm sorry. killing right now. Um, you look like a young Ben Stein. Has anybody ever told you that? <laughs> no, I get Persian Ben Stein. Yeah. When I was younger, I got Kramer because my hair was like really floppy on the top. I got Borat. Kramer. Um, Wait, yeah. From what? Kramer versus Kramer? <laughs> uh, no. Because I have really wavy, uh, coarse hair. I actually straightened it at the top. It would Jesus look. Christ. It would look like hell. You're lying to yourself. I'm not. I'm not lying to myself. Oh, that that was your first time on stage, right? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Look at that. That's great. In that case, you yeah. killed. Congratulations, man. How old are you? Uh, 23. That's awesome. How well, long, yeah. One of the things I loved was he. He said, "You got to believe in yourself." And when he said that, you could see his hand shaking so badly. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> which I don't, but. <laughs> For the purpose of this joke, you should believe in yourself. No, it was the lights. I didn't know. There was zero jokes in that, right? Uh, yeah, zero jokes. Well, but that's something you need to at least have one of all right. <laughs> before you put your name in here, man, because you just gave us a blog post. <laughs> but you went with it, man. That's yeah, I wrote, I, this, I wrote this down, I, I, and I tried to get something funny out of it. I'll I thought of an audience, but all right. eh. you, Listen, yeah. just... Do you like not stop once you start answering something? Pretty much. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, <laughs> holy shit! What the fuck was I gonna say? Shit! You son of a bitch! That I'm so not used to anybody when I start talking that they just really truly keep going. But I mean, it's an you, interesting thing you, you have going on there. Do jokes? You you seemed comfortable oh. except for the shaky part. But uh, I'll yeah. tell you this: out of all the segues tonight, <laughs> going from. So I'm not going to USC to, so I tried cocaine recently, right. yeah. absolutely takes the cake. Like, that was killer. Did you really yeah. try cocaine recently? Yeah. It Did was, you like it? For real? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Because it made me think that I can do anything. Yeah. And that, yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, and then he signed right. up for the Kill Tony podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from drugs, guys. He's like, fuck, man, this joke I just came up with is going to crush this week. And it's going to be exactly 59 <laughs> seconds. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Raphael, am I saying that right? Yes. Uh, so what do you go to college for? What are you doing? Oh, actually, uh, I never even applied for UCLA, and I just pretty much left two weeks in. Your hand's coming to life. What is happening? I'm just channeling the last guy. I'm tonight. sorry. Uh, I'll keep it down. Okay. So... What was your answer to that question? You just started going there without applying to go there? Yeah. You um, snuck in? What do you, what do you yeah, think I am, the dean? Uh, you think you're going to get in trouble? That wasn't my question. I don't care if you applied or not. Stick with the question. Ready? What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to do comedy. What's your second choice? <laughs> it was screenwriting. My first choice was actually screenwriting in life, and I didn't want to risk like a bunch of money on going to film school, so... You, you know I, you don't have to go to film school to be a screenwriter, right? You have to write yeah. screenplays. Yeah. Buy a book called Save the Cat. I've written a few. Yeah. yeah, I have that book, and I finished half of it. I'm a, I'm a bad book guy. <laughs> I, I'm, ter- I'm terrible at books. Every book I've ever bought, I've only read half of it. However, and Save the I Cat, great book to do coke off of. Okay. So, <laughs> All right. Really good. <laughs> we never yeah. read so many pages. pages. <laughs> you tear them out, roll them into a little tutor. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Who'd you do cocaine with? Let's talk more about it. It's already out there in the uh, cosmos just friend, forever. Just some friends, with, friends of mine. Whoa. Say their yeah. names in case the <laughs> LAPD are listening. No, no, I won't do that. What was it? But I mean, like, what was the situation? It was at the, bu- guys- it was at the butt end of a, of a cigarette. Oh, parliament? Yeah. yeah, I just I just keep tapping and smoking. It was also my first cigarette as well. So I kind of wow. knocked those two out. <laughs> so I, I knocked way. those two out. But it, it was the first and last what? time. Why don't you show us? Zero to one hundred, <laughs> real quick, huh? It was the first and last time that you'll ever smoke a cigarette, and but definitely last, not the last, last time. time you do cocaine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right. Priorities. Yeah. That's what I like about Rafael. Did you become friends with everyone that you knew? Did you talk a lot? What was the, what happened? I haven't to you? hung out with that group of friends since, really. I seldom hung out with them before, and now I, it's just been a thing. So you didn't you didn't even well. snort any? You were just doing cocoa puffs. Yeah, just 
Back and forth, oh. back and forth. Wow. And that was it. I don't know. I mean, wait, what's cocoa puffs? That's where you're just smoking little bits. Oh, of coke. you're, yeah, you're, you're pretty much drinking crack. You're yeah, much yeah. Crack. It's a. Oh, I don't know how any of that stuff works, but <laughs> that se- that makes that that seems a lot it, more. It's kind of like smoking pure crack. Yeah, you're not mixing baking soda, which could help you out and make you smell a little bit better. If you, you know. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Raphael, is screenwriting really your number one favorite thing that you could see yourself doing, or stand up? Yeah, because thing? I'm not good at anything else. What do you honestly. want? Are you good like, at that? Have you written a, anything? Uh, I've written a few, like half written screenplays. <laughs> yeah, you're the I, half I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lazy ass. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. How you come you didn't do half of a minute of comedy tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Devoted to half. Devoted to half. <laughs> You did twice as much comedy that you were supposed to. Yeah. Did you say you did? You didn't get all the way through Save the Cat. You stopped reading it. Yeah. Lazy. You're licking your lips. Lazy. You're on cocaine right now. No, I'm not. yes, I you promise. are. You I just promise I'm not. licked your lip. Did you see that? I saw. He's <laughs> done it a couple times. He's got caught. <laughs> it wasn't that. It wasn't yes. that crazy. Yes. People who have done cocaine know what people on cocaine are like right now. Well, this is amazing, right Raphael. You do as much cocaine as a successful screenwriter, and you've never <laughs> finished the <a> script. <laughs> uh... Interesting. Mm. Have you ever? Do you finish books? Uh, do you only read half of books often, or is did you save the pretty much lose you at the part I'm, where I talked about finishing a book? Uh, I'm totally lazy when it comes to reading. Like what the last three you, three years have just been me working, TV, video games. Like what? Video. What have you been doing? Just uh, I've been doing a security. Security? Yeah. yeah I do security. What kind of fucking security are you doing? I work at the port. What port? Oh, uh, the port shit. of L.A. Cool. I, I work for a trucking company. I just sign vehicles in and out. Wow. How you know what's that job? You should do That's how you got coke. the coke, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to have to take a little sample if you want this truck through. No, no, no. <laughs> I can see the screenplay already. <laughs> yeah. It makes perfect sense. Just exactly. another day at the docks. <laughs> Cue porn yeah. music. It's pretty dead there, too. So most of the time, I'm just there on my computer. Listening to Death Squad podcasts and stuff Damn. like that. Wow. Well, nice look at that. Kiss well, out there. Thanks for listening. Simone yeah. just texted me. At what prices are you getting? A pri- uh, ten an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Wait. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Raphael. Oh, I didn't, um, it went over my head. Confused. Over my head. <laughs> That's so fun. So have you been thinking about doing stand-up for a while? Or? Yeah. I did improv uh, last yeah, year. I didn't like it. Yeah. No, I didn't <laughs> like it. No. I, it, the, you could tell. I you could say anything you want. Say that you did coke. Say this, say that. Yeah. Don't tell us about doing all right, improv, yeah, all right? I, I don't want to lose all respect I stopped for anyway. you. Yeah. Man, you just don't stop talking, huh? Very nervous. Because he's on coke, man. <laughs> <laughs> We've already established this. Yeah. The whole thing is on coke. He's rambling. He didn't have any jokes. He just talked. I'm not just kidding. Not. It's essentially an admission. <laughs> well, I love Raphael, it. I think it's time for you to uh, come down a little bit, and uh, we're going to let you go. Bye, Raphael. Peace out. Bye, right, Raphael. Does he have a Twitter? He is on Twitter. He's at Lechuga Meister. He's the only Lechuga Meister on Twitter. So there it is. L e c h u g a m e i s t e r. And uh, follow him on Twitter if you obviously you want your his, life to go in the wrong he direction. He also put his email down. Eight ball for life. What's that mean? <laughs> ah, he's a big time <laughs> billiards player. I, I moved the stool by the way because everyone just keeps. Bumping right. into it, looking at it. Yeah, it's so, so funny. we're just gonna scoot it back. <laughs> Nobody all night wanted to move it. I've been watching that too. So nervous. Craziness. Let's get another one up here. Here we go. Their name is Rex Alaman. Here he comes, Rex Alaman. Okay, hello everybody, my name is Rex. I do come from Russia, if you know the slight twang in my accent like Eric over here. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about uh, my time here in America. I came here on college visa, <laughs> keeping in theme with college. And uh, I overstay because America do not care about immigration. You're getting weak, America, soft like my belly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> quiet now, I'm telling jokes. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about one more thing before my minute is up. The homosexual problem in Russia, big elephant in the room, on the news all the time. I like America, you handle it better than us. And look to me when I come here, you give all homos free Toyota Prius. And you let them drive in the far lane of the freeway, like separate but equal. That's not bad, it's a good situation you have here. <laughs> anyway, 
since I have a little more time before Scary Grizzly Bear, which I'm not scared of, <laughs> we'll tell you some differences between Russia and America, I notice when I come here. Uh, all my friends tell me, when you go to America, the ladies there love guy with accent. <laughs> I do not fear that bear. Keep going, keep going, finish it. <laughs> you want to or you not want to? They don't like guy with Russian accent. <laughs> Alright, so what's your real accent? Actually, I come from faraway land called Orange County. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally tell when somebody's doing a fake Russian accent thanks to MyFreeCamps.com. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I've talked, to, I've talked to Tony before, so I know there was no... Really? You have? Yeah. He doesn't ever remember any of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, were, you, so were you doing it in a different accent? Oh, no. <laughs> what made you... Go so Russian accent. the Russian bit's fairly new. Uh, I actually had a. <laughs> Hold on, that, you have been doing that forever. No. <laughs> All right. It was a uh, <laughs> it's a exchange student in high school who kind of fell into our social circle. He was from Russia. And uh, so I just kind of picked up the accent, hanging out with him all the time. Wow, this is like an inside the actor studio yeah. it, for something that should never be done again. Never. Uh, I love your style. Thanks, you went man. for it. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, off and on for a long time since 05, but just in 2014 to now, I've had enough time to dedicate pretty much most of my nighttime to it. What were we dedicating it to before that? I, I just had a job that took up way too much of my time. What was that job? Uh, I was working for, a, it's boring, it was a medical company, and I was helping sell Botox and lap bands oh, and cool. rest implants and all that. Cool. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> totally not boring. Yeah. No, uh, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Guys, what do you think about uh, Rex Alleman? Uh, well. All right, I, I, the crowd just started to like you for the first time. The crowd's uh, like, get him off the stage. <laughs> yeah. That was the Shea Matosh clap where they're just like, <laughs> just move on. Um, I, it, I guess hearing the name Rex was pretty much a dead giveaway that you aren't Russian. Russian. Yeah. I don't think there's ever been a Russian Rex and before. And every Rex I've ever met is from Orange County. Yeah, so. that's probably true as Just well. Just me, that's it. Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, trying to do like an Andy Kaufman, I'm pretending I'm foreign thing, uh, probably isn't going to fly for that long. So you're, I would guess you want to focus more on being you. Yeah. Kind I of have... what Steve was saying with some of the other guys. It's got to oh, be yeah. real if it's going to last Can you shake that mic real quick? Uh, that cable is fucked up for some yeah, reason. Yeah. Josh there hasn't it is. fixed that in 3,000 weeks. And uh, just hold it so that you don't bump it again. There yeah, you go. Sorry. Uh, no, you're right. It's just been a bit that I've been doing for fun. I used to just be myself on stage, and I will be again. But it was something where I was doing the Russian thing <laughs> around. You will be again? Like, yeah, well, don't worry. this monster? Rex is coming anyway. back 2016. Be prepared. No, uh, it, just my friends would be like, dude, the Russian accent's kind of funny sometimes. You're just doing a stage. And I was like, all right. Is it, it, it your friends that. who knew the Russian kid that you grew up with? Some of them. Yeah. yeah. Right. That might be an inside joke thing. Well, I've done the bit. I've actually performed it here in the OR room, and it went really, really this well. This isn't the OR room. No, no. Downstairs. Oh, you performed it downstairs <laughs> in the OR. And it went well with your, you did it for three minutes, I did right? it for your 10. Oh, did yeah. you look like yeah. you were in the cast of Pawn Stars? <laughs> when you did that? Yeah. No, I totally dressed different, actually. Yeah. I think that has something to do with it, because it's just, you know, yeah. I mean, so when people know they're being fucked with, people don't really like it. I know, oh, no, yeah. Because people don't like me a lot of times when I'm on stage. I like you, Pat. Thank you, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, it's like if you're fucking with somebody, people like there's just an instinctual human thing to be like, nah, fuck, fuck right. that guy. But you, you've got presence and you've been on, you've yeah, done it before. I think if you do like yep. normal material and then you do a Russian bit where you go into that, it yes. would work. But if you do all Russian, I called bullshit the second you went on stage, so I didn't give a shit what you were talking about. Right, and it's a lot harder in a minute to sell that character. Right. When I had 10 minutes, I do this whole build up and backstory and then by the end I can say I anything. I want, I want you to bring Rex back. It's yeah. time. Yeah. Right. Put the right put the Russian away for a while cuz you're falling back on it and what are you going to do? Be that not oh, no, Russian yeah. guy that goes out. Oh, wait, this guy Forever. You, yeah, right. you know, there's you know, great Russian comedians, but <laughs> I'm going to go watch the American do a Russian impression. We didn't even like when Yakov would do Yakov Russian. called in avails today. The greatest, the greatest Russian comedian Number of all one. time. Because he's, he's the only Russian comedian, he's, <laughs> and he's Ukrainian. <laughs> Ironic. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did you guys hear Uber took care of Putin? No. No. Never mind. So just, no one's following the news. <laughs> um, 
Rex, I would just say you could get in the car. If you're telling a story about your Russian friend, that's a great way to go. I have a Russian friend. You come out as yourself, and then you tell the story about this guy. Yeah. It's yeah. a great way to showcase I that agree. character in an authentic way. Yeah. Well, there you go. Rex Solomon, everybody. Rex. There he goes. He's on Twitter at Rex Hates Tweets. Rex Hates Tweets. Rex there Hates you go. Tweets. So many wacky Twitter handles we've heard tonight. Uh that probably nobody's gonna follow. All the all the good comics do that, you know. What I mean, yeah. like Bill Burr's comic, his right. like Bill Burr loves yeah. crazy, wacky, fun time or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. If you're focusing on a, having a crazy Twitter handle, it might be time to just go with the name and focus on writing funny tweets. Yeah, that's just it. Some some advice. I don't know. Commit all the way and hope that Rodney Peterson lets you do a guest spot on the radio. Fuck one day. yeah, from the back of his van. This is the. Part Guys, this is the part of the show where uh, each week we've had two young ladies, two awesome rising comedians who do a brand new minute every single week. They don't sign up. They don't get pulled out of the bucket. We've been watching them build over the past year and a half, and they write a brand new minute and try it out every single week. So we're going to do it again. Going up first tonight, you know her as a former student at the University of Florida. She came on Kill Tony, had her first set ever on this show, and she's been doing it for a year and a half ever since, a brand new minute every single week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Kimberly Congdon, everybody. Here she is. Thank you. I feel like I come up here a lot and I start off my sets really dark. So I'm gonna go something nice today. All right, um, I lost my father at a young age. Um, it was really sad. But what was sadder than that was that my mom let me look for him for four years. <laughs> Did you check in the closet? <laughs> you don't have to feel bad for me though, because uh, you know I had him for a few years and growing up with an alcoholic father teaches you things. Like now I know that Merlot pairs really well with bad parenting. <laughs> My dad was a magician because uh, he disappeared out of my life. It was his best profession. Um, I'm out of jokes. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> 57 <laughs> seconds of thunder, though. You tried. The magician thing, I mean, uh, obviously you're trying to fill time there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I like that thing about your mom not telling you Thank and you. letting you look for him. You know, I think you could probably drag that out and extend that out some more. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Kim Congdon, another Thank new you. minute. Thank you. What do you guys think? What's is happening? Is that, is that true? Is your dad really um, dead or is that just No, funny? he's not. He's not dead. He was, like, kind of around until I started. He's from Florida, and he's kind of around until I started, like, dating a black guy. Right. In college, and Listen, then and then he wasn't around. You that just much found anymore. another minute for yeah. sure, just on that. <laughs> Brian, don't. It looks like we could see your vagina. From I know. Angle. Thank you. <laughs> it, it, uh, not we. Don't put me in right, that. He's you not look, he's looking. He's looking at your yeah, eyes. Yeah, nobody's on your side with that one. Yeah, I, uh, good outfit. <laughs> Thank I you. really like your dad. They definitely extended. That's hilarious as fuck. I was actually thinking you were talking about like, like, oh no, he's still alive. Like he left, and then you were trying to find him like online right. or something. But then when you said the closet thing, it threw me off. So that was cool. Uh, but yeah, the magician thing. I don't know about that one. I do know about it, and that you shouldn't do it ever again. <laughs> You're too good to be doing that stuff. But I okay. get it. You have to do a new minute every single week, and most comedians don't aren't put on the spot like that anywhere. Hell, a lot of the comedians tonight had their entire life to come up with one minute. <laughs> <laughs> and it went way worse than that. So that's true. I think of that all the time. I'm like, I wish I could just pick one of my minutes out of all of them I've used. Mm -hmm. But they're all used up now. Every single bit I've ever said on stage, I've said on Kill Tony. But I think we mentioned last week that over the year and a half, you feel like you've acquired, what did you say, about 15 minutes? Yeah, of, it's probably up to 20 now. Yeah. Yeah. In, the, in a week, it jumped up another five well, minutes? Well, I've been working on a five in the, minutes. In a week that you wrote 35 we seconds of material? We talked about it material. like two weeks ago, and I'm a good writer. <laughs> I write a minute every week. We know that. That's why you're on the show. How's uh, stand-up <laughs> been going for you? It's going great. Have you been... 
working and anything crazy happening? Um, I'm going to La Jolla with Sarah next week. Oh, that's great. And then awesome. uh, Sarah and I and Brian will be doing Brea April 15th. That's awesome. Well, there you go. Catch her then, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Kimberly Congdon. She's on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon with another new minute every single week. This next comedian, also a brand new minute every week. Uh, always goofy styles of the one and only Sarah Weinshank, everybody. Here she is. Sarah Weinshank. What's up? Mannequins. Why are we still doing that? I went to the department store and I guess, oh, yeah, we're still doing this. We're still making replicas of humans not to scale, to sell clothes. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Do you know how lonely the people who dress those mannequins must feel? Could you imagine every day your job is to change this headless woman into a fashionista? <laughs> like figure out what kind of accessories to put her in? It's really dark. It's really dark. <laughs> Mannequin is one of those words that's also spelled ridiculously. You guys aren't li literate? <laughs> it's spelled ridiculously. If you write that shit out and look it up, guarantee you're going to be wrong. Because <laughs> there's, there's two N's and there's a fucking Q. It's one of the only words that has the letter Q in it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the only words that has the letter Q in it. It's a I debut that. album. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, I loved what you did. You know, you turned on the crowd uh, at, at, right before finishing the mannequin thing. Like you, yeah, you, you I know. did the setup, and then angry. you guys are you guys <laughs> fucking illiterate? And then you continued to literally spell yeah. it out. Yeah. But Letting them know why they're so dumb for right. not getting the joke. Yeah, for yeah. not getting for not laughing on the setup. I, I noticed uh, a lot of the ladies. Related more yes. to the um, to the thing about mannequins because dudes we don't even notice that there are mannequins I think <laughs> and if we do it's just like I can't believe that mannequin doesn't have bigger tits or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah yeah but like you said the thing and I heard all the girls laugh and then I looked at the dudes and they're all just sitting there like I'd fuck a mannequin yeah <laughs> I, I, I'll I mean, do it I have like I have like seven mannequins at my uh, my my studio oh, true. and they have big tits they they sell big titted ones and. I love mannequins, and there's nothing wrong with mannequins. And so when you start going off on mannequins, I think there's a lot of people in here that enjoy mannequins. Unless you brought the old Brian, navy Brian, mannequins, Jesus, the Christ. old navy mannequins with their crazy faces, like ah, you know, I don't quit. like those. We need you to quit hanging out with Raphael. Yeah, yeah. so much blow. <laughs> yeah, it's out of control. Uh, well, I think you should definitely, you know, take that and use that to your advantage. That big tit mannequin thing because there is an interesting point in that is that you know if they had mannequins with bigger boobs guys would be more likely to buy their girlfriend that shirt because they're idiots and that's probably they true. would go wow there's something about that shirt that i really like and they'd probably you know buy some more stuff i don't know or you could take any approach just drag it out and don't attack the audience if they don't laugh i, I disagree Sorry, I think attack the audience more. <laughs> so it, you can tell me, at least some people are like, oh, shit, maybe I am stupid. I, I guess I do like this. It, it probably is spelled weird. It's one of the only words that has a Q in it. It's such yeah. a good line. Was, was that a part that you like prepared for it? I like, was just thinking about that a lot. I was like, mannequin, it has a Q in it, and not that many words have a Q in it. Quail. Quiet. Are you about to start Quiver. naming Q words right yeah. now? Yeah. I don't want to hear what she's got. <laughs> I, I, all right, keep going. Quaint. Quail. Queen. Oh, you just said quail again. We're already know, going yeah, back yeah. to the quail. I'm trying to huh? buy time here. Wow. Um, queen. All right. Let, let's hear queen. some more. Wait, don't, don't cheat for queen. it. Oh. Queen. Queen. Whoa. All right. That's, I said that that's one the twice easiest too. one. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a oddly placed Q as well. Right. It's a Q in the middle. Yeah, and there's two N's. Quigley. I think it's oddly spelled. Do, I don't think many people could spell mannequin. Do you think the two N is two N's? Do you find that to be bizarre? Yeah, two N's and a Q. Do you wish there was a D in there? <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> Boom. Brian Redband is <laughs> in a goofy mood today, and I, I love know. it. Clean house. Fuck yeah. Well, 
Sarah, I really, you know, she has this style of taking inanimate objects and turning it into material. I can't wait to hear your first special one day and see how many different things that you cover. You know what I mean? We've, I feel like we've gone through the entire kitchen with you. I and know. And, like, I'm every type of condiment and every, like, corn on the cob holders, I remember. And we've just come yes. so far. And it's amazing to see that we've pretty much covered the house and now we are inside of shopping malls. I know. Uh, yeah. That's the only place I, I, I'm like, where can I go? Yeah. Yeah. So. Were there any kitchen accessories that had a cue? Um, Cuisinart. That's a C. <laughs> that's a C. <laughs> I'm so He's one of those idiots that doesn't understand good spelling jokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are you trying to think of one? Yeah. A kitchen thing that begins with a Q or has yeah. a Q in it? Q. It's weirder when it's in the middle. We already established that. Um. Mm -hmm. No, I can't think of anything. Yeah. That's why that, that mannequin that? one worked. Yeah. Quiche. Oh, that, yeah, that's good. Oh, Jesus. Look at fucking Quiche. Poetry King up there. Uh... What from the say? 90s. Say it again. Which, by the way, is the cologne he's wearing. What's he uh, saying? <laughs> <laughs> Same for the podcast listeners. Acquiescence is what he's repeating. Um, hell yeah. Well, Sarah, this was so much fun. Thanks for coming on, as Thank always. Another new minute from Sarah Weinshank and yeah. Kimberly Congdon. Follow them both on Twitter and Instagram. Kimberly Congdon, Princess Shank. That's S-H-E-N-K, all one word. And, uh, fuck yeah, we did it again. Pat Reagan, I yeah. loved what we did tonight. And I think that this will be pretty much how we do things from now on, if that's oh. cool with you. Yeah, cool. So thanks for playing along. He's Patty Reagan on Twitter, P-A-T-T-Y-R-E-G-A-N. One of the funniest uh, rising comedic talents. I, The only guy that I do like with a guitar. I've always been on your side yeah. on that guitar comedy thing forever. And I listened to his album. And uh, which is called what? Pat Reagan smells Pat like Reagan shit. Smells like shit. There you go. Now if we could get him to uh, stop blowing his whole entire lung into the microphone, or get a pop screen, yeah. or just back and, away like six feet. And thank dude. you guys, the guests, everybody, Rick Ingram and Steve that. Simone. What yeah. do you guys have coming up, or anything you want to promote, or anything at all? Rick Ingram's on Twitter at Rick Ingram. Yep, that's it. That's not very funny. Well, but. follow Rick Ingram. Who uh, went with the least wacky Twitter handle he possibly could? Yeah, Rick so, Ingram. Someone already took all the funny ones. So. <laughs> Steve Simone is you're Steve Simone yeah. on Twitter. Wow, yep. you guys actually got your handles. That's great. Yep. Yeah. What else? So, uh, I know there's a lot of Canadians that listen to your podcast. Uh -huh. I'm gonna oh. be at I'm gonna be at Yuck Yucks in Calgary. Oh, that's so in like cool. Three weeks. Heck and yeah. uh, Please check out my CD. Remember this. Awesome. Yes, definitely go download his album. It's hilarious. He's one of my favorite comedians, and so is Rick. Thank you guys so yeah, much for being for on. Us. Thank you to you, live audience. <laughs> Kill Tony 100 Woo! is in the main room. That's 400-seat venue that's definitely going to fill up. That's on April 13th, so come see Kill Tony 100. There's going to be a ton of amazing comedians, perhaps a rotating panel, and a lot of crazy, interesting things that are going to happen that night. And don't forget, Ben, uh, San Francisco, Sacramento.